with respect to theta d theta so we can get the plane angle of uh, principal stress plane so from that uh, plane uh, that is if it is standardized positive then it will be first quadrant and third quadrant first quadrant uh, from the first quadrant we can find it find out what is the sin theta sin 2 theta cos 2 theta substitute the value of sin 2 theta cos 2 theta here this expression we can get the principal stresses same way to get the minimum principal stresses we have to go to the third quadrant because in third quadrant tan theta will be positive again so in the third quadrant if you go for it then they so 2 theta plus 180 degree will be third quadrant so here again positive so draw this triangle so you can here the opposite side is tau x y tau x y so the adjacent side is tau minus uh, within bracket is sigma x minus sigma y by 2. Okay, from this you can interpret the what is sin, th sin 2 theta cos 2 theta. Substitute these two vary in this uh, expression cos 2 theta here, sin 2 theta is here. So you can get the sigma x does. Okay, so the second plane, minimum principle is this plane. So there we may have the negative vary here. Okay, so this is how we have to derive the formula. Same way for, for second quadrant and fourth quadrant will lead to uh, tan theta will be negative. So in such cases, we can go for derivation of the maximum CSS formula. So this is what the CSS at any given plane. Again, go for derivative of this. Okay. So go for derivative. Cos 2 theta will become uh, sin 2 theta will become cos 2 theta into 2. So 2, 2 can cancel. So minus sigma x minus sigma y. Same way cos 2 theta becomes sin 2 theta into 2 minus so from this we can get the tan 2 theta then that is a, a shear plane position of the shear okay so tan 2 theta so here this will be this plane maximum shear stress plane so from this uh, triangle again we have to go for a connotation of a sin 2 theta cos 2 theta so substitute this value here so we can get the CSS, maximum CSS. Sigma x is sigma y by 2 uh, plus tau x y the whole square. That will be CL plane 1, tau s 1. So again for fourth quadrant, same way we want to go for triangle, uh, get the value of sin 2 theta cos 2 theta, substitute this value, we can get the uh, tau s 2 also. This so this is a procedure. So everything is available in the textbook. Okay. So you have to take the general formula, general equation, get the value of sin to theta from cos to theta from the triangle. Uh, depends upon the quadrant. If tan to theta is positive, go for one and three quadrant. If you turn to theta will be negative, it will be two and four. four. From 2 and 4 quadrant, we are getting the CSS, maximum CSS. From 1 and 3, you can get the principal, maximum principal CSS and minimum principal. I suppose it's clear to you now. So, these are the solution. So, we can get the principal CSS plus or minus here. Plus for maximum, minus for minimum. Same way, in case of a maximum, in print CSS will be. So this is the formula you can get upper derivation. And here is sigma over is c equal to sigma x plus sigma over two. So that is required uh, for drawing the more circle. So this is also required. Okay. So this is what regarding the derivation regarding the principal stress. Okay. So I make some CSS also we saw just now. Okay. Uh, so we have to take this a uh, general expression. So we'll go for derivation, derivative of this expression, get the value of tan to theta. So draw the triangle, so, okay, calculate the sine to theta cos to theta. Then upon substitution of this two value, you can get this equation. Okay. Solve the state of 
ஒன் ஒன்றி So, first step is to define the local axis x and y. The second step is to define the stresses sigma x is plus 20 MPa because it is tension. Sigma is minus 10 because it is compression. Tau x is positive because it is upward, right side phase, which leads to anticlockwise rotation. So, anticlockwise is always taken as a positive. Now you need to just substitute this value in the principal stress formula. Sigma S is given to you. Sigma O is given to you. Okay. So tau X is also given. So you can get the value of sigma 1, sigma 2. If you substitute the plus here, sigma 1 you can get to minus means sigma 2 you can get. So this way you can calculate the maximum principal stress. Just a direct substitution of the values. So here sigma 1 and 2, 5 plus or minus 33.54 MPa. So sigma 1 will be 38.54, sigma 2 is equal to minus 28.54. Is it okay? Okay. Shall I continue? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, same way, uh, we already have calculated the sigma 1, sigma 2 value. Now, orientation of the principal plane, that is must. Okay. And which plane, the maximum and minimum values are there. So, for that, you need to use the tan formula. Tan to theta p will be equal to tau xy divided by sigma x minus sigma y by 2. This is a formula. So sigma tau x y is a positive 30 MPa. Okay. Sigma x is given as a 20 plus 20. Sigma y is minus 10 because of compression. So the tan 2 theta will become 2. So from tan 2 theta, it is possible to calculate the angle. Tan inverse of 2 will give this value. So, 2 to 3 pi is not you now. That is 63.4 for degree.
So in case if they are asking at any given plane, theta will have to substitute. In case, uh, otherwise, the question will be directly ask, uh, try to find the principal stresses by using the formula. So general equation you have to use for uh, at any given plane. We want to find the normal stress and CS stress. Uh, sigma x dash, tau x dash, y dash. So 2 theta p, principal plane, p for principal plane, is equal to 63.44 degree. So since it is a positive value, positive is treated as anti-clockwise, always. Okay, so in one plane, so in another plane plus 180 degree. Again, that is anti-clockwise. It is all positive. Now theta b becomes divided by 2, so 31.72 degree clockwise, anti-clockwise. Here again, another plane, 121.72 degree anti-clockwise. Is it okay? So this is what they required here. Sigma 1 plane, sigma 2 plane. The angle is from with respect to our gender, x axis. So, in this 2D element, this axis, from here, if you rotate, this is the plane that is 31 point. 72 anti clockwise. So you have in this plane only with the maximum stress available. Okay. So whether you have found correct or not, you can check it up also. You know general formula. What are the theta you got here? Or two theta. So you can substitute this value here. So you should be able to get the sigma 1 value. Okay. So sigma y dash formula if you substitute, you will get the sigma 2 value. So sigma 1 and sigma 2 is known to you and the plane of angular principal plane theta p1 and theta p2 is known to you now. Okay, now how to present the result now? So this is what angle. Original theta is equal to 0 here. So rotate it. This axis theta is equal to zero. So you have to rotate by thirty-one point seven two degree. So this is the face. So the perpendicular face. Okay. So this is what the angular plane that is thirty-one point seven two degree. So the perpendicular to the plane will be have the thirty-eight point five four maximum sigma one value. Okay, so uh, sigma x value, sigma y value will be negative 28.54. So first plane will have 31.72, second plane will have 121.72 from the horizontal axis. So this is how we want to represent the result.
Okay. Shall we, we go ahead? Yes, sir. Shall we go for maximum imprint CSS? We know the formula. Maximum tau max. We know the value of sigma x, sigma y, and tau x, y. Substitute all this value. And angle of CL plane also you can find by using this formula. And I see a sigma average also you can find. So this is a formula for tan to theta s minus of sigma x plus sigma y by 2 divided by tau xy will be equal to minus of. So tan inverse, if you take, you may get to minus negative 26.56 degree. So the, since it is negative, that is why it is clockwise here. So plus 180 degree, another plane. It is positive. So that is why it is anti-clockwise here. So in case uh, th two theta s is equal to minus 26.56 degree, theta s will be 13.28 degree. Clockwise, since it's negative. Negative is clockwise. So you can check it up by using this formula. And since you know the two theta s, substitute the value of two theta s here. We can check for a general formula. So you make it tau max again, same value, 33.54. So now the presentation will be like this. So you have negative 13.28 clockwise. So that is why this angle x axis, 13 by negative means clockwise rotation. So in case if you have negative clockwise rotation, so perpendicular phase will have the sigma average, that is phi MPA. Sigma x plus sigma v by 2. The CSS is what is obtained is 33.54 is a positive. That is why it is upward here. So here we do not uh, use any technique, just we substituted the values in the formula. We got uh, the value of maximum and the minimum principles. And the maximum CSS, that's all. So, this is all to give the answer. The result should be presented in this format. Okay, so rotation is uh, what how much we got 13 by 28 rotation. Is it the clockwise or anti clockwise? It is the negative. Since it is negative, it is the clockwise. Okay, so the perpendicular phase will have the average, sigma average. The phi AB is sigma average. That is sigma x plus sigma y by 2.
चलिए कंटिन्यू चलो हाउ टू गेट दिस ऑल दिस वैल्यू बाय यूजिंग मोर सर्कल एंड व्हाट इज यूज ऑफ दिस सर्कल मोर सर्कल वी विल सी दैट हाउ टू हाउ डू यू जस्टिफाई अ मोर सर्कल फॉर प्रिंसिपल सोर्स कॉम्बिनेशन first how to derive this more circle suppose we know that uh, equation of circle standard equation of circle okay so we have been given a circle with radius r center point the coordinate for center point h comma k so x in the y axis we have since such case the equation of circle becomes uh, x minus h square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square Uh, from, from the mathematics, it is possible to get this equation. Okay. Now here, x and y are variable. H and k are constant. That is not going to change. What is changing is the only x and y value variables. So derived from distance formula or by Pythagoras theorem. ओके सर ओके सर So now already we know that the general equation sigma x dash equal to sigma x plus sigma y by two plus sigma x minus sigma y by two cos two theta plus tau x is sin two theta and uh, tau x dash y dash also rule two now. Now just to rearrange this equation sigma x dash uh, sigma x dash minus sigma x plus sigma y by two okay sigma x dash minus Sigma x is sigma y by two. So you got to this value. So you just go for area range, but this equation. That's all. It becomes a sigma x dash minus sigma x plus sigma y by two. So you got to sigma x minus sigma y by two cos two theta plus tau x by sine two theta. And the equation becomes clear this way. Is it okay? Now squaring both the equations, both sides, they expand only the right hand side. Squaring both the equations, both sides, expanding right hand side. A plus B is all squared. The left side as it is kept here, so the right side is expanded here. A square plus B square plus two AB, and if this is a tau from the tau expression also. Okay, this becomes A square B square minus two AB. So these two terms get cancelled when we when we add this equation. Okay.
Can I continue? Sorry. Yes, sir, you can continue. Sir. So now the equation becomes, if you expand this, it will become, uh, already we know that the sine squared to theta plus cos squared to theta is equal to 1. So you can get this value this way. Sigma x dash minus sigma x plus sigma b to the whole square plus tau x by the whole square is equal to some value. Now this is similar to the standard equation of the circle. X minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square. Here what is x here? Sigma x dash. What is y here? Tau x y dash. Tau x dash y dash. K is equal to 0. K is equal to 0. The h value becomes average value. Sigma average. That is sigma x plus sigma y by 2. This becomes r squared. Compare with the equation of circle. It is similar to that. So x and y, value of h is equal to sigma average, value of k is equal to 0. So this right hand side portion is going to be r squared. Is it okay? Here we are comparing these two equations. So these are the variable now. Sigma x dash is a variable. Tau x dash y dash is a variable now. Like x and y are variable. So the R squared, so it uh, becomes a square root of R squared. You can read this expression this way. So you can take square root, then I can take the square of it. The same area. And the variables are sigma x dash, tau x dash, y dash. Every of h is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2. R squared will be equal to this value. Square root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 the whole square. Plus tau x way the whole square. So the R value will be square root of this value. So the center point of the circle was H comma K. So in this case, sigma average comma zero. Because K was zero. Sigma average is such. So we know the center point of the Mohr circle now. So to get the center point of the Mohr circle with respect to how we will have to draw the circle. So sigma average first you will have to find. We will have to find the sigma average. Comma zero will give you the center point of the Mohr circle. And the radius is given by this expression. So radius is not to you, center point is not to you, you can draw the circle now. I suppose it's clear to you now. So to draw a circle, we should we, we should know the point, the center point. The center point is equal to sigma average comma zero. 
Okay, radius is equal to square root of sigma x plus sigma y by 2 the whole square plus tau x by the whole square. So in, in case of in case if you compare it with the circle, h comma guy k, h is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2. K is equal to 0, center point. This r distance is square root of sigma x minus sigma y to the whole square plus tau x by the whole square. So center is equal to sigma average comma zero. Radius is equal to square root of sigma x minus sigma y to the whole square plus tau x to the whole square. So it is similar to circle. So now you have to now uh, you have x and y axis. In the x axis is always we do not the uh, sigma. In the y axis we go for CSS. That works way. And uh, preferably uh, in case of anti clockwise it is going to be positive, clockwise negative. Uh, so the downward direction will be positive actually here. Here the sigma x right hand side is a positive here. So we can calculate the center point. Center point is equal to sigma average comma zero. Now we are required to have the radius r to draw the circle. So r is also known to you. This is r value. So sigma average comma zero is used to Fix the center point of the circle. Radius is used to fix the R radius to draw the circle. Shall I go ahead? Okay, now I'm going to go Shall we move forward? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So the point where it can say it's like this sigma axis is sigma max here. Same with no. the circle cuts at this point is sigma minimum here. Okay. So the vertical axis, this vertical coordinates gives the maximum shear value. Maximum, the modulus of the maximum shear value. So if they put two element, they may give the sigma axis sigma at any given point, two uh, element. Okay, uh, if it is rotated with theta, so you have to find the Angular. Okay. okay, so the sigma x, uh, we will, when we solve the problem, we will understand. So, as of now, just to remember the one thing. So, this portion will be sigma max, this portion will be sigma minimum from a 0, 0. And if, uh, the vertical alternate will be the sigma max. So, at any given point in the circumference of the circle, we can find the stresses. In and in the, what are the stresses? Sigma x does and tau x does. Oh, it is at any given point. These coordinates gives this value of uh, state of stress at any given plane. But what is the problem is if you rotate that plane there in theta, here it will be two theta. That is only the difference. Okay, so you've been given an element, you've been given sigma x and tau x. 
Okay, just uh, spot this, just to mark the sigma x and the tau x here. Okay, uh, center point is known to you now. Join this two point, draw a circle. Okay, here theta is equal to zero here. If they give angle of rotation 15 degree, anti-clockwise, okay, anti-clockwise means this clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise means this from this here 30 degree, take 30 degree. The plane where it be, wherever it cuts. So that is what the set of this. Here the 15 degree, if they give, it will be 30 degree here. Here the coordinates will be sigma x dash, tau x dash, y dash. So you can get this value. In case if we rotate 10 degree, here 20 degree. So at any given plane, it is possible to find. So that is the advantage of the Mohr circle. We just rotate to 0 degree, 10 degree, 30 degree, 20, 40 degree. So any degree of rotation, theta, there, there, there is a theta. Here it will be 2 theta with respect to this plane. Here we consider theta is equal to 0. If they rotate the element the clockwise, so you have to take clockwise direction. If they rotate the element anti-clockwise, you have to take anti-clockwise direction. So when we solve the problem, we'll understand now. Okay, here plus two theta anti-clockwise. So in the element they are given theta, rotate the element by theta degree anti-clockwise. So from here I take it to theta here, anti-clockwise. So wherever it cuts the circumference of the circle, so that ordinate gives information about the sigma x does normal stress and CS stresses. Okay. Shall I move again? I can go forward. Yes, so from the Mohr circle, so this is a general equation. We know that stress transformation equation. Okay, so from that we got a uh, what is our sigma average comma zero will be the center point of the circle. Okay, so we know that everything is we are done circle. Center point is known to you now. It is sigma x plus sigma by two average comma zero. And the radius is known to you, so you can draw a circle. Okay. Uh, now counterclockwise, anticlockwise from the original x-axis, theta is must have to come from counterclockwise. Okay, so it is positive. Again, I'm angle, same same thing is putting on. Angi So if we rotate the element by theta degree, here it will be two theta in more circle. When we rotate the plane in the element by theta degree, we go to theta for the more circle. So that is what we want to remember. So these are the maximum and minimum value of the principal stresses. Sigma 1, sigma 2, tau max will be the vertical ordinate. That is the radius of the circle. So the Mohr circle represents the state of stress at any point. So if you've been given an element, in case if you are at one, one degree plane, what is the state of stress? Two degree plane. So that means one degree plane means you will have to go for uh, two degree in the Mohr circle. Two degree plane. If you rotate two degree here, here four degree. Five degree means ten degree. So wherever it cuts in the circumference of the circle, give you that that ordinate will give. The state of stress at a point. Okay. So when we go for the problem, then you will understand. So let us understand by the more circle by the drawing the circle here. 
So you've been given a set of for two D element. Sigma x and sigma y is given. Tau x y is given. We are asked to find the major and the minor Lewis crystals. The orientation of the principal plane, maximum shear stress, and the orientation of the maximum shear stress plane. Everything you don't do. So instead of go for going for calculation by using a formula, directly you can draw the circle. You can get the all the answer. Okay. So already we know that uh, to draw a circle, we need to have the center point. What is the center point? Center point will be sigma average comma zero. What is the sigma average? Forty plus two hundred. So two forty by two will be sigma average. Comma zero will be the the center point for the Mohr circle. You have, you have the graph sheet. So this axis represents the sigma. This axis represents the tau. Center point we will to find. Center point is equal to one twenty comma zero. Mark the center point. Now we have been given a sigma x and tau tau x y. What is sigma x and tau x y? Forty forty comma sixty. So just mark forty comma sixty there. So join a center point and day that forty comma sixty point. So this is what the forty comma sixty point. This is center point one twenty. So here it is forty comma sixty. Okay, forty sixty. From the zero to forty here sixty here. So okay, now once you know this two point, center point under this forty comma sixty point, sigma x comma tau x y, dry circle. Or you can cut it with radius, dry circle. Now from this triangle, or this triangle, we can get the value of theta. So sixty by eighty. Sixty by eighty. Tan theta is equal to sixty by eighty. So opposite by adjacent side. So we can get the theta value. Theta is how much here? So tan inverse of this value will give theta. Theta is equal to thirty six point eight seven degree. Is it clear now? So this is at, uh, the, the plane at which the maximum stress is put to be here. If we happen to see here, see that is six point. In, in case if we rotate the, the element by eighteen point four degree, okay, this element is rotated by and the graph is eighteen point four degree, then we can get the maximum principal stresses. So this is uh, what we can get the maximum value, maximum principal stress. My one. Sigma two here. So now always we need to take from this uh, this plane only. So thirty six point nine is a see maximum principal plane. Okay, if ninety uh, minus thirty six point nine will give the maximum shear stress plane. So this is what the shear plane. Okay, so this is the principal plane. So orientation of the maximum shear stress plane will be fifty three point one degree. So the maximum and minimum value you can measure from these values. Tau max, you know that tau max from this from here to here, that is radius of the circle will be the tau max, and the sigma one, sigma two, sigma two from here to here, sigma one from here to here. The orientation of the sigma one. Uh, with respect to this angle is already calculated so this is what the orientation in the uh, more circle but in actual era but it is half of that so 36 by 2 18.45 will be actually uh, there in the element more circle if it is 2 theta in the element it is theta
Is it okay? So let me use, uh, you can solve the same problem by using the Bohr circle. Okay, we already calculated this uh, uh, sigma 1 and sigma 2 value by using the formulas. Now, by drawing more circle, the same expression, same result can be obtained. So, this is what the problem statement. First, we have the graph sheet, center band mark one. Center band another sigma, average, 0. Sigma average another. Again, the okay. I'm okay. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is what the problem statement. We are required to draw the Mohr circle and get the result. Okay. So the statement of the problem is ask find out the principal stresses and the maximum imprint stresses and the orientation, everything. So first what you have to do is you have to take center point. What is the center point of the circle? Sigma average comma zero. Sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2. Sigma x is 20, sigma y is minus 10. So, divided by 2 will be the sigma average. Sigma x 20, sigma y minus 10, tau x is plus 30. So, the axis for uh, coordinate axis is Sigma for x axis, y axis, tau. So sigma average to go to 5 comma 0. Sigma average comma 0, that is center point of the circle. So first step is to find the center point of the circle. So mark the center point in the graph sheet. Center point in the outermost. Uh, so you've been given element. Sigma x is equal to 20. Tau x y is equal to plus 30. So mark the point A. So already you mark center point that is uh, sigma average comma 0. So mark this point that is 20 comma 30. The, so we can join these two point dry circle. So 
the center point is known to you. The first point on the outermost radius, that is, uh, what is sigma x comma a point, sigma x comma tau x v. So from here it is 20, 30. Here positive is downward. Tau is positive or downward. By right side positive, sigma, sigma. So you can mark this point A and mark point C, the circle. Okay, so from this triangle it is possible to get the theta. Our radius R is equal to 30 squared plus 15 squared. Here from here it is 15, here from here it is 30. So radius is known to you now. So the center point of the circle, from here it is radius is already calculated now. From here it is 15, here it is 30. Sigma average will be equal to from center to this point. Now sigma 1 is a maximum point. Sigma 1 will be the minimum point here. Tau max will be the center point. Vertical ordinate. Okay. Now the principle says how to calculate the from this expression now. Sigma average ka bar. Sigma average. Sorry. Sigma average press R. Will be the sigma 1 value. Sigma 2 is sigma average minus R. Sigma average minus R. Minus 28.54. So use this triangle to calculate the alpha 10 alpha so you go to opposite side by adjacent side. Alpha. Opposite side 30, adjacent side 15. So you can get this positive value. So you are getting the positive value. You are getting the positive value, 63.44 degree. That is 2 theta. So 2 theta is the more circle. But what, what uh, here to alpha, okay, whatever may be. So what is going to happen to this element? The element needs to be rotated anticlockwise by 31 degree, by theta degree. Now to get the maximum principal stress. So this is what we say zero degree plane. So from here, the alpha that is 63.44 degree anticlockwise will be the maximum principal stress. So already we know that alpha is that is two theta is 63.44. Element needs to be rotated off of that. That is what theta P1. So now the beta will be calculated from here to here. This plane is zero degree plane. From here to here will be beta. Here to here it will be alpha. A minimum principle says that is 180 minus alpha. That is again positive, okay, 180 minus alpha. Alpha is 31.72 degree. Since it is a positive, clockwise. The anticlockwise is a positive actually. Anticlockwise means a positive. Now it will be clockwise here. See, this is the plane. You already calculated the beta. Beta is equal to 116. So the, from the plane, it is going to be this way. So that is where it is clockwise. This is the plane of a minimum principal plane. Plane of minimum principal. Plane of maximum principal. So theta P2 also we can get. So theta P1 is from here it is 31.72 degree in the element not in the more circle in case of more circle it is 2 theta in the element it is going to be only half of that 
same way here it is one one six uh, it is two beta here actually so half of that will be a brain, a position of the brain minor peripheral brain Is it okay? Yes, sir. It's okay. Any doubt here? Because this is the point where you are going to normally confusion. So how to arrive with the principal stresses? Okay, uh, principal of the back is stress number one. Number two, what is the plane angular plane? Here, if it is two theta means, an actual element it will be only theta. We always take this as a zero degree reference. This is the this is the plane of a maximum principal plane. So from here here how much? That will be two theta. So half of that will be in the actually in plane element element. So from this plane, how far minimum principle is this? That is what beta. So this is what the result actually. So how to present the result? So sorry to interrupt, but sorry. To... Yes, sir. Chulunga? Any question? Sir, I have a question. You, uh, uh, this, this, uh, this angle alpha shall, shall always be equal to 2 theta? Ah. So, this alpha, this is a 0 degree line. That is okay, sir. Theta is equal to 0 degree in this line. We don't take, take always. So, because the element that we have been given, that of stress is sigma x equal to 20 and tau x is equal to 30. Okay. So this point is already marked. So, the center and this point that we draw a line, that indicates the 0 degree line. Now, the maximum principal stress is available here. From here to here, how much angle? So, that is what the alpha. Okay. In more circle, if it is alpha, in the plane element, it will be alpha by 2. So that means if you have to rotate the plane element by alpha by 2 to get the maximum principles. Okay? Okay, sir. So you have to rotate the element by alpha by 2 to get the more maximum principles. That's alpha. The beta under the there are about zero degree under the minimum by principal plane value. That's the beta. Okay. So what is your rotation value? So you have to rotate the element. Uh, that is 50 by 20 degree clockwise. So you can get the maximum minimum principal plane. Minimum principal plane. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Thank you. So already I told you how to present the result. So we know 31 points out to the anti case will be the maximum principal stress. Okay.
So how to calculate the principal stresses? We know that sigma average plus R will give the sigma one. Sigma average minus R will give the sigma two. Alpha you can get, beta you can get. Okay, so we have to present the result in this way. Okay, back principal state, principal stress state. So sigma one value you know now. Sigma one value is not to you. So by rotating the element, actually triangle. X-axis is zero degree here. Theta is equal to zero here. If you rotate this element by 31 degree, 71 degree, 31.72 degree, so we can get the maximum principal stress. That is why it is being rotated here. And the minimum value will be 28.54. Okay, so that is Same way, we have to go for maximum imprint CSS. We know the radius of more circle R gives you information regarding the CSS. So, tau max will be R. Tau max will be R. So, this phi, this is 0 degree angle. Okay. From this, in the maximum value. So, that is required. That is what the 5 by 2. So the 5 is equal to 26.56 here. But in plane, actually plane, it will be half of that. Is it okay? So how to get this value? So 90 minus alpha. So shear plane will be 13.28 clockwise direction. Okay. So this is zero degree plane minus 38 clockwise direction 13.28. So this indicates a sigma average. This is CSS, what you have got R value. Radius of uh, Mohr circle, that is uh, 33.54. So this is how we have to present the okay, element state after rotation. It is uh, regarding CSS. So earlier version was the principal state. This is here's the state. Okay. Shall we go ahead? So a little bit fast. I will go by fast. So uh, this way we have been given a problem statement. Determine the stresses for the rotation, rotated element orientation, the principal stress and the maximum imprint stress. So here they are given in the 75 degree rotation again with respect to uh, this axis. Always we need to calculate from this axis. So here it is 75, this will be 15, and 15 will be in a minus. So minus means clockwise. Clockwise rotation. So you've been given sigma x, sigma y, and tau x y. Downward, this phase, if it is downward, tau x y is downward, then it's a negative now. So, as usual, we want to get the center point, center point to form another sigma average, comma zero. Sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2. 
sigma x is equal to minus 40, sigma y is plus 70, divided by 2 will be sigma average. So, center point is known to you. Now, the a point in the board circle, a point, sigma x, comma, tau xy will be the a point. What is sigma x minus 40? Tau xy, what is the tau xy? Minus 50, negative. Negative means it is upward. Graph is always positive, negative. Okay. So here it comes here. This is the coordinate. Center point of sigma average comma zero. Okay. The next point is minus 40, minus 50. So from zero to minus 40 here, minus 50 here. That is a point. So this is zero point, O point. So OA, keeping OA as a radius, draw the circle. Now this becomes a theta is equal to zero degree plane. So how to find this angle now? You know this coordinate. From 0 it is 50. Okay. So no, sorry. Here it is 15. Up to here it is 15. Here from here it is 40. So 40 plus 15 will be here. This is adjacent side. Opposite side will be 50. So you can take a tan alpha. So you can get this value, 42.27 degree. So here we want to find the angle using trigonometry. Already told this trigonometric right angle triangle. So this is zero here. Already here from here to here it is 15. From here to here it is going to be 40. So total 55. Here 50. Okay. Now this is a zero degree plane now. How much rotation they they gave, they are given the problem? Clockwise 15 degree. So in case of more circle, you need to take from here clockwise 30 degree. Not from here. This is correct actually. From here, this is 0 degree, 30 degree rotation. So wherever it cuts, that ordinate gives you sigma x dash and tau x dash over dash. In the circle, the circumference of the circle, wherever it cuts, okay, x ordinates will be sigma x dash, y ordinate will be tau x dash over dash. So if they give for a 15 degree clockwise rotation, here we have to take 30 degree clockwise circle. So from this one. If they give 30 degree there, here we have to take 60 degree from here. If they give uh, 50 degree anti-clockwise, so we need to go uh, counter-clockwise here, here. 30 degree anti-clockwise, likewise. I suppose it's clear to you now. From here it is 30 actually. So this angle already we know that this angle is 42 point some uh, 27 degree. So the total number of uh, 42 point 27 plus 30 will be 72 point 27 degree. This triangle. Now this radius is already known to you now. Radius of the circle. You know the formula. You can uh, you can measure this. It will be uh, radius is known to you. Theta is known to you. You can find the cos theta. You can find the sin theta. So cos component will give the orthogonal component. The sine component will give the vertical component. So from that it is possible to identify how much is sigma x does, how much is tau x does, what does. 
Is it okay? Okay, sir. So you can calculate this equivalent value by XDS set of XDS value. So that is what the answer. So when we rotate the element in the 15 degree clockwise, so what will be the state of stress? Same in case if you are asked to find the uh, determinant stresses for rotated uh, orientation, principal stresses and uh, in plane maximum stresses, you can make use of this same statement. How to calculate the principal stress in its orientation? So this already we know this not you know. So this point will be sigma minimum. This point will be sigma maximum. Okay. So here zero zero, fifteen plus seventy four point three will be the maximum stress sigma max. Same here sigma minimum. Sigma average minus the R will give sigma minimum value. So angular plane. Here it is if it is 42.27 degree, half of that will be in element. So here 0, 3 plus equal to 0 degree. So the minimum principle plane will be 42.27 degree and the here. So half of that will be in the element. So how to calculate the maximum shear stress and its orientation? So this is what the point of maximum shear stress. Absolute maximum. Its orientation, this is a theta is equal to zero degree plane. From here it is how much? So 90 minus 42.27 degree will be the its orientation. Theta S. So you can present the result in this way. Okay, any question here? I suppose we are nearing end of uh, print uh, there is no time available. We will stop here. Any question so far on uh, state of principal stress? Why do you calculate the principal stress? Why it is required? How to calculate the principal stress? How to calculate the angle? Uh, we have seen actually derivation we have seen so far. So we start out with the set of stress in three dimension sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3. Uh, then we come back, come back to two dimensional. So is that common of stresses always zero that is brain stress cases. So stresses on grain when we derive the expression, then we calculate we derive the formula for principal stresses and its brain or the maximum stresses also. Then problems on a set of stress in two dimension. So we are taking a simple problem. We calculated the set of stress in at any given plane. And the same problems we checked with the more circuit method. Uh, okay, so more circle, how to draw the more circle, derivation of the more circle. Okay. Then we solve the same problem by using the more circle. Also. That's all. Uh, thank you. Any, any question from the audience? Shall we stop here? Any question for the audience? Shall we stop here? So someone has uh, raised their answer. Uh, Dr. Perry, yes. Swami, sir. Yes, yes. Please ask me.
participants if you have any uh, doubt or any clarification you can ask sir please sir please ask me any question regarding uh, principal stresses okay in that case shall we stop here any question in this side is there any message okay i suppose you are getting uh, some concept regarding the principal stresses we actually we target the principal stresses to find the who's the material actually which material you have to go for it in case sigma principal stress is more we go for high strength material if principal stress is less then we go for low strength material and it is also used to predict the crack pattern okay so where the crack is expected to take place in which direction directly if we know the orientation of the principal brain it is possible to predict the crack propagation also so that is idea for static loading addition so even by using the simple chain gauges it is possible to identify the principal stress direction the bridges decks of or any any structures uh, so that we are not covered today so that will be also useful in case if you are interested you will go in the next any 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 other days okay uh, any any other question from audience okay uh, thank you very much over and over yeah thank you sir thank you very much sir dr kodudrai sir yeah yeah for your uh, like uh, patient uh, lecturing uh, yeah for about uh, 3 hours from the morning uh, 9 am onwards uh, so if there are any uh, any questions from the participants any queries thank you thank you okay thank you very much sir for your informative session thank you thank you, uh, you ma'am thank you, thank you. Thank it's very you. difficult to handle strength of materials through online sessions but you made it uh, um, very uh, nicely and uh, i hope the participants might have benefited uh, out of your uh, two sessions on principal stresses and principal planes and also the mohs circle demonstration it was really very much useful to all the participants i hope so so thank you very much sir thank you sir thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you Yeah, we will share the recorded video, sir, because we have a YouTube channel, so we'll upload.